Mike Casey, uh, Napiershig, Limerick. I suppose we went down to Napiershig from uh, a very early age, down there four or five. Wouldn't have had a whole pile of um, sporting pedigree in the family, to be honest with you. There was no kind of hurlers or footballers beforehand, but kind of went down to Napiershig and just found a graph for it, you know, and um, went down there real early, four or five years of age, picked up the hurley and, and, and kind of haven't looked back since, you know. You'd be playing rugby, soccer, hurling, Gaelic, kind of you name it, we played it, like, you know, um, and, and kind of always kind of came back to the, to the club um, in the Piercy. Buying from the, the mother and father um, since an early age has been incredible, like, you know, they've, they, they've really fallen in love with it, like they, they don't, um, they don't miss a match, you know, whether it's a, a junior B match below the club or um, Munster final there, like at, at the weekend, they're, they're the first there, they'll, they'll nearly, uh, they have a reputation of nearly going down to open the gates in, in Turles and stuff like that now at the moment, so um, they'd be there, they'd be there at awful hours, like, so they, they have the love there for it as well, um, since, since me and Peter definitely um, got involved, you know. I have a sister as well. She plays a bit of rugby in our fair. She was on a, a women's monster team there for for a while. So like yeah, we've we've a sport, you know, family, and we'd be a competitive bunch in all fairness. No matter what, we we throw our hand at if it's an old game of um, thirty seconds. A drone where you've you've the leg timer and you've to the rat laugh as many um, kind of you've got a card with five things on it. You have to explain what's on it without using the actual name of it. So me and Peter are, are the undefeated champions now of the house. They say we do a bit of cheating, but um, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. There's about 18, 19 months between us. It's nice there, you know, to have something to boast, bounce things off of, like, you know, and to know that well, you're going through kind of very similar things to them, and it, it's very easy for, for both of us to kind of keep ourselves in check, like, you know, with, with the discipline that comes with being an intercounty athlete. Like, you know, it's, um, it, it can be hard there, there at times, like, you know, but we find it's a good dynamic there. We can kind of keep ourselves in check, you know. We grew up and there was you know, some, some excellent Limer teams and, and, and people like that, and, you know, Andrew Shocklessy, lads like that kind of spring to mind. A shot to say, trying to avoid the hoop. What a goal, what a start by Limerick. Growing up, like watching them do what they did in, in 2013, um, as, as I was a minor playing beforehand, you know what they did below the Gaelic Crowns, winning that Munster, and to see kind of the, the outpour of emotion there uh, was unbelievable. And they were the kind of lads that you, you were looking up to, thinking that you could try and replicate them, you know. That 2013 win, uh, that Munster Championship win was, was huge for kind of the, the, the start of, of what's kind of um, going on at the moment, like, you know, and they really brought that winning mentality um, and, you know, we were able to feed off of that when, when we started coming into the panel from kind of 15, 16, 17 onwards, you know. To think that we've four Munsters won in a row now, you know, like, you don't even think about that coming up to a game or, you know, it literally has been and, and always will be game on game, week on week for us, you know. Um, I think once you kind of get bogged down in, in what you've done, that's the time you're going to start slipping, you know. Um, so we're, we're definitely just focused on what's going on week by week and, and how we can improve ourselves on and off the field, you know. But yeah, the, the, the medals are nice, but it, it, it's more the memories that you create along the way that, that, we, that we'll cherish forever, you know. Uh, teaching in um, Educate Together Secondary School there um, uh, in Limerick City, we're, we're a brand new school and, and um, new build just started in, in Castle Troy. So, um, like your, your typical week is, is getting your your gym session done on your on your Monday or Wednesday, your your training sessions done on your on your Tuesday or Friday, you know, and um really kind of getting a good uh, a routine going that you're constantly kind of doing the same things over and over again, you know. Um yeah, the teaching life is, is ideal at the moment, you know, you've um you put in that hard shift from, from half eight to half three and um you can kind of switch off and, and prepare then for your training session, gym session then um after that, you know, and so your, your, your typical game week is, it's very, very similar to, to, to every week you have, like, you know, and um, you just have to kind of embed yourself in a routine and, and get really comfortable with that and whatever works for you, you know, to continue to do that, you know. So um, I think we're, we've been on the road long enough to, to kind of know what's starting to work for us at the moment. Uh, and a lot of us have the same sorts of routine week in, week out, you know, we're, we're kind of creatures of habit.
I had a very rough kind of two years, 18 months um, with injury. You know, I, I did the... I did the dreaded uh, cruciate ligament injury um, there at, at the start of uh, 2020, you know, um, and had to do my, my nine months rehab. And uh, it's a long, tough road, and, and an awful lot of lads have to do it. And unfortunately, um, just coming back from that, I, I played my first game in the Pierce League, played 35, 40 minutes, and all went well. And first training session came back and um, just did a bit of cartilage, um, just felt a little pop in the knee and did cartilage. So. It was a long, hard 18, 19 months, but do you know what? It, it makes it all that bit sweeter at the moment. Do you know, you, you, you really get a lot of perspective um, when, when you're on the sideline uh, so long. And I suppose uh, having happened in, in the middle of COVID as well, um, it, it really put a perspective on, on kind of your, your priorities and, and what you really want to do. And to see the team do so well while you were away kind of gave you the hunger to, to get back. And, do you know, there, there wasn't a gym session missed because the boys were going so well and, and you knew that if you could get back in and contribute to the group at all, that's what you were kind of looking to do, you know. There is Mike Casey from the piercing. Declan Hannan in a good position and Limerick with this methodical, fluid build-up. I've been tried out with the club once or twice, uh, kind of further out the field there, um, out, out midfield and, and things like that. And it hasn't gone to plan, I won't lie. So um, I'd say say full back line is, is as far as I'm going to get now, unless the old knee gives up me, I might go into the full forward line. But I'd say um, full back line, yeah, it's, it's definitely, look, it's it's not for everybody, you know. Um, it's definitely a very specialised position. and. Um, one that has definitely evolved over the, over the years from definitely when you started playing like it's, it's kind of more uh, a two man full back line now with, with, with lads kind of funneling out the field so um, yeah uh, full back line is, is probably my best position um, you know, I'd like to think I, I could push on a small bit further up the field um, and get, get an old score under, under my belt at some point but um, we'll, we'll take wherever we can get now at the moment you know got in reply. They're in here now. Cork with Robbie O'Flynn. This should seal it. This could seal it. No! What a brilliant stop by Nicky Quaid. Nicky, he's one of the best in the business, if not the best in the business over the last, you know, decade, really, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, we, we have an excellent understanding and, and a fantastic relationship. Uh, we're always engaged in conversations um, on the training field with, you know, best ways to play, different people and, and things like that. And uh, he's an excellent communicator. Like you know, he he really is a, a kind of like a eyes in the back of our head. And if we're not if we're not tuned in, um, he's definitely letting us know. You know, he's he's constantly on myself and, and Sean's back there this year. Definitely in in terms of making sure we're we're touch tight and and calling different runs. He's vital to so much that what we do. You know, and it's been fantastic to to get back in and, and kind of share the field with him because you know I truly believe he he makes us um, as good as we are back there. You know, like it's. If if someone does get through or someone does break that line, you know, you back you back Nicky to, to save that shot all day all day, you know. Here comes the road, Hegarty bearing down a goal. Here's the shot. What a finish! It was unbelievable. It was it was such a good game. Um, you know, like the intensity of it was was incredible. You know, and it's only kind of afterwards when you when you kind of watch it, um, you know, a couple of days after you realise the. Uh, how ferocious it was, like the, the first 90 seconds to two minutes, uh, there must have been five or six huge hits inside in that middle third. Um, you know, so like when you're when you're in the full back line, you don't really appreciate what's going on on the outside, you know, because they're like that middle eight, middle nine is is chaotic at times, like, you know, and um, you know, the, the hits, the tackling, the the intensity of it was incredible. And um, it was just it was just a game for the ages and it's just um, delighted to be a part of it. and. Obviously, to come out on the on the correct side of it, you know. I'm reading a book at the moment. I wouldn't be a fantastic reader. Uh, I've read. Uh, I'm reading Phil Jackson's Seven Rings at the moment. Uh, he's, he was the basketball coach for the Chicago Bulls there, um, you know, and, and, and the LA Lakers. Um, I'd have a small bit of uh, an interest in the basketball uh, and things like that. There's a few of us with an interest in the basketball at the moment. Um, and you know, someone recommended the book to me, and he goes into his coaching philosophy, how he coached um, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, guys like that. You know, people playing different sports, like you can learn so much from 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 other sports around the world. Like you know, it doesn't have to be always hurling, hurling, hurling. You know, and um, you know, you, you you can look at soccer players, basketball players, rugby players. You know, they're they're all trying to achieve 
um, a legacy that, that, that you're trying to achieve and um, being able to take small little nuggets of information from them um, is vital at times, you know. We got it back there kind of Christmas in, in 18 um, and you know the, the parents had all the cousins, aunts, neighbours, they put on a, a big spread and it was lovely to get to get the cup up there, you know. Um, especially special times, you know, when, when you're sitting around the, the table um, just talking and, and, and Delia McCarthy is, is the centrepiece, you know, it's it's definitely something that um, that lives long in the memory, you know. I try and switch off from social media definitely two days, three days before a game. Um, it's definitely something I've learned. Uh, I'm not huge on it, no. Um, like, it's, it's got its pros and cons, you know. It's definitely something that uh, you kind of have to manage uh, these days, you know. But definitely two, three days out. Um, don't try not to get in contact with me through social media. I, I definitely won't answer you.